In a historic move, the Reserve Bank of India has moved back 100 tons of gold reserves from the UK. This marks the first large-scale relocation of gold by India since 1991. Well, back then, the country was facing a balance of payments crisis and was forced to pledge its gold by physically moving it as collateral for dollars. Now, bringing back such a large quantity of gold is a show of confidence for India after the debacle over 30 years ago. Well, this recovery comes amid a strategic push by the RBI to diversify its gold storage locations and strengthen its reserves. The central bank has been actively accumulating gold in recent years. Well, the yellow metal buys have increased by 1.5 times in the first four months of 2024 compared to the entire previous year. This has strengthened the country's overall gold holdings, which now stand at 822.1 tons. The decision to bring gold back is driven by a multi-pronged strategy. Firstly, it aims to reduce reliance on overseas storage. This also acts as a show of confidence, particularly after the 1991 experience. Secondly, relocating gold allows the RBI to save on storage costs incurred at the Bank of England walls. While not substantial, these savings contribute to more efficient reserves management. Finally, this move reflects India's growing economic confidence and its commitment to a diversified reserve portfolio, especially in the face of global challenges. The logistical process of transporting such a massive quantity of gold, nearly a quarter of India's reserves, it involved a lot of planning and collaboration between the RBI, the finance ministry and various government departments. Specialized aircraft and comprehensive security measures were implemented to ensure the safe transfer of the gold. Well, this is a major shift in India's gold management strategy, which gives more importance to domestic storage and reflecting the country's evolving economic strength.